Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be looking at a worksheet that asks us to figure out if we need to add or subtract to correctly complete the problem. Let's look at an example and I'll explain a really easy way that you can solve these kinds of problems. Let's take for example 7 plus or minus 3 equals 10. So one way you can solve these problems is by looking at the first and the last number. If the first number is smaller than the last number, meaning the last number is bigger, you need to do something to that first number to make it grow. Now, do we add or subtract to make things grow or get bigger? Well, of course we add. So if you see that the first number is smaller than your answer, you need to put an addition symbol. And that makes sense because 7 plus 3 equals 10. But if you have a problem like 7 plus or minus 3 equals 4, you can see in this problem the first number is actually bigger than the answer. So if we're making a number smaller, we need to take something away or subtract. So remember, if you have a bigger number than your first number, you need to add so that way you can grow the bigger number. And if your first number is bigger than your answer, you need to decrease that number or shrink it by taking something away and subtracting. Let's take a look at our examples in our worksheet. The directions say, for add and subtract, trace the correct dotted line to complete each equation with the missing operation, addition or subtraction. So in our first problem, we have 17 plus or minus three equals 20. So let's try that strategy I taught you. Our first number is 17, and that is smaller than our answer of 20. So how are we gonna take 17 and make it bigger so that it turns into a 20? Are we gonna add three or take away three? Well, of course, if we wanna grow 17, make it bigger into 20, we're gonna to have to add. So let's trace that dotted line to the addition symbol. Let's try our next problem. We have 14 plus or minus six equals eight. In this example, our first number is 14 and our last number is eight. We all know that 14 is bigger than eight. So we have to take 14 and make it smaller because the answer is eight. So how do we make a number smaller? Do we add to it or do we take away or subtract it? Well, of course, we're going to have to subtract six from 14 in order to make it eight. So we will trace the line to subtraction. In our third example, we have nine plus or minus seven equals 16. Again, we have our starting number of nine and our ending number of 16. Our answer of 16 is bigger than nine, so we have to grow 16 or make it bigger. We're gonna have to add to it to turn nine into 16. And nine plus seven, just to check our work and prove it, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that's the number we're looking for. Our fourth example has 11 plus or minus four equals seven. So we have our number of 11 and we need to shrink it so that way it turns into a seven. So if I'm turning 11 into a seven, am I adding to it or am I taking away? Well, I'm gonna have to take away four to get to seven. So let's trace our line to subtraction. And in our final example, we have 16 plus or minus seven equals nine. So this one we can do in our heads. 16 is bigger than nine. 
So to turn 16 into 9, do we add or do we take away? You're right. We have to take away to turn a bigger number into a smaller number. So 16 minus 7 equals 9. Boys and girls, remember, look at the first number and then look at your answer. And decide, is this number growing and getting bigger, meaning you need to add, or is it shrinking and getting smaller, meaning you need to take away and subtract. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.